Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. Hey, ladies and anybody else that might be watching. So, I want to tell you about these gourds, okay? I got these gourds, but we're not done yet. This is the rough cut. Uh, but the, doors, the gourds are going to actually gourds, because that's what they are. They're going to actually go through a process. So yeah, so I bought two, and I was thinking in my mind that each gourd was kind of for Ghana. I thought it was a bit pricey, but there is a process. So the bigger it is, the more scraping and digging they have to do to get the food that was already in the calabash. And, uh, and then there's a, a system that they use to even get it to where it is right now. So, so this is what I'm going to, so now let me tell you what I do, or actually Kwame's going to do. What, I, what we're gonna do, this is the process, is so once you take them home, if that's not already done for you, we gotta wash it and then uh, let it dry, wash it thoroughly. <coughs> Excuse me, there's a solution that Kwame's gonna use and then let it dry in the sun. And then once it dries in the sun, you take some oil and you rub the oil on it. It's a little bit, I might just skip the process or two. Oil on it to give it that nice red color. Right now, this is rough, this is dirty, this is not clean. Do not look at this, it is not clean. So this is so you know, it's just, this is rough, this is not clean, this is not dry, this is not, this is just buying the gourd and the gourd. Now, if you remember, I had, I had this idea that these broomsticks would look so good in a gourd. Like, I was like, oh my God, like, I saw the broomsticks, and they were actually, the, each, it was two bundles of the broomsticks, and so the broomsticks had, and uh, this was tied around both, and each broomstick had a little tie. So it wasn't much to the sticks. I, I was so glad. So taking it apart was so easy, and I just spread them out. This is only two brooms. I can go fuller with more. But what I would love, of course, because you know I like the drama, because this is something I would probably put on the table. But in the corner, depending on the right room, it could be really cool, too. But, you know, I would love it even being a little bit, you know, so I, I want this short, but I want some tall, too. And I think, of course, adding maybe a couple of more brooms. And the brooms were like two or three CDs, y'all. That's less than, because a dollar is five CDs. Yeah, a dollar, a dollar US, I think, is five CDs. So it's less than a dollar for a bunch of the brooms, the broom bundle. So easy project to do in Africa instant glam right away and just like i said wait until the gourds are cleaned up and i'm going to actually of course get kwame doing some of the processes processing tomorrow with the washing the cleaning first we'll show you what to wash with and how to wash with and then we'll uh we're going to show you of course putting out in the sun then we'll come back you know bring it from the sun and then the oil processing and then you'll really see them beautifully and then i'm gonna go get then i'm gonna go because i only got two because this was a vision in my head but i didn't know how it was actually going to go and i didn't even know if the brooms would go i didn't know how well they were together at the bottom but they wasn't at all i didn't know it was a rope so it was wonderful so this is going to be beautiful. I mean, I love it already. It brings that class. And it's like I said, just imagine, this is so rough, you know, but at least I said that. Like I said, because it's short, now this whole, this is not, this and, and this, I don't think together is great because it's big. But in the short, in these rooms, in the bedrooms, that's, even that height's going to be really sexy. But of course, messy bedroom, of course, I love it. And I, but what I like is about something like this is you can put it on a table. You can have it as a centerpiece. You can put it on the table, at the, on, at the end tables or the, yeah, the end tables. I mean, you could do so many things with it, side tables and all of that. You could do any of that. Uh, it's beautiful. You can just have it near your bed, you know. So the gourd, uh, it's funny because like I said, when Kojo saw that I wanted this, and also I'm getting the kente cloth curtains made, uh, many, because I want us all to have some. So I'm starting to really think about my line. Um, he was like, so you want everything African. When I came with the gourds, or gourds or, you know, calabash, I was like, yes, because he's like, this is truly African. So let me tell you what I'm going to do with this one. Even though they're nice together, again, this is not clean. You're going to see that. We're going to clean it out the whole bit. We got it for a great price. I'm so excited because they were, they're, they were a little more pricier than you think, but like I said, there is a process to this. And so for the, and when I say pricey, I don't know if it mean maybe by American standards, but definitely by Ghanaian. So 
Uh, so yeah, but I think that's still beautiful. I think it's stunning and I love it. Now let me tell you what I want to do with this. Now this, if you, if I was in the States, this is a total wrap up your anything. Like remember my, if I wanted to display my head wraps, I would put them in there, uh, but of course throws. Throws could be in here for days. Again, you would clean it, polish it. Throws could be in there for days. It's probably an endless amount of things. And he says like in the market women, they display their wares in there, like yeah. It could be almost anything, things that roll up and can be placed in. I think that's beautiful. Another thing, I was walking down the market with Kwame and I saw this sister sitting in a chair and I saw this big calabash and liquid in the calabash and it was this beautiful, she was selling these drinks. It was a huge calabash, y'all, calabash. And it had the, you could see with the lemon flow. And I said, oh my God, what's that? He said, oh, it's good, but it's a lot of sugar. You might not want it, but her display. So I actually want to have a party. Yes, I want to have a party with, uh, with that thing, with some Sobolo or some or ginger drink, you know, some non-alcoholic refreshing drink for the heat and serve it up in a big calabash, but it have to be more open. <laughs> Yo, when I saw that, actually it was more open like this. It was probably more like this, but it was polished up too. But let me show you what I want to do with this idea. So that, oh, and this type, well, these are my two, I had to test them because everybody kept asking me, y'all, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? And I didn't want to tell them I didn't know. I just knew that I was going to do something. I, I knew I wanted to do this look and I'm so glad. I think it works nicely. And again, just picture it up higher, whatever, and claim like it'd be beautiful. But that one, the flatter book one. I actually want to get a one more. If it was three, could fit. I would try three. So I'm going to see. Have the three up here, y'all, and let them be this, the, the so called baskets or organizers or shelves. Like, let, oh, y'all, and listen, y'all, look at my door. My door's off. The uh, carpenter's is coming on Friday. The door is, th the door is off, but it's not a story. Don't worry. Uh, so yeah, y'all, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then all that stuff, this stuff, all this stuff could be folded. I can put the little bit of merchandise that I like to have, because I want to be getting that merchandise and selling it, not keeping it and storing it. But this is some of the stuff, all the stuff now, if I had two more of those, and probably in two, I can fit them there. Now remember, just picture that, just picture that, that beautiful color, the red color that's gonna come out of it. Up here, now we got this beautiful armoire with the goddamn door down, we'll talk about that in a second. And, uh, and those one, two, three, so the door. So the first day, I noticed the door, yeah, it's, it's this, it's, it's not, it's not, it wasn't strong enough. So it literally, I took it off actually. It was hanging off and then I took it off. That's exactly what happened. Cause I had to, cause I didn't want it to fall on the ground. So the carpenters, Baby in the hospital now. Carpenter, anyway, he's coming on Friday. He's gonna say he's gonna make sure everything is secure. So, as long as this thing didn't fall off and break, if it fell off and broke, I'd be mad. But it's not. This thing is super heavy. Like I was thinking, this right here and uh, these doors are valuable by themselves. And these doors, I was, I've I, I been knew that when I bought them, but now to have them off that and to feel the weight of this. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's, it's a power, y'all. This solid wood door is amazing. And like I said, if you leave and you don't want to take everything or things are falling apart, take the, we can take the doors off and take the doors with you. The mirror and all. So just take it off and take it with you. And that's what I love about that good furniture. That door can be, I mean, many people, I mean, my, my ex did this, but there's, I see uh, people even here. You can take this and just literally put it against the wall or slant it a little bit because it's artwork in itself. So I, I just love that idea. And I, I just, you know, it gives me all kinds of ideas. But Friday, we should have that back on. So let's just go around. I need y'all, I'm going nuts. I cannot have a beauty, I cannot have a beauty station and an office in the same place. It's not working. And I really need this to work, right? So we gonna do something about this custom made table I'm coming up with and this chair. The chair I told you is gonna be a roping, a roping technique. Oh my God, I saw an example of the chair and this woman is a master of it, but when she was in Togo and the borders closed and she's stuck over there. So she's not coming back to the borders open, so I'm just looking forward to her. She's going to design a chair, and then we're going to, I, I mean, she's going to make the chair, and I'm going to, she got, I'm going to design it according to my needs as a desk. 
but it's a problem. I need a vanity. That's another thing. That's I mean, that's what I'm basically. Essentially, I'm saying I need a vanity, really badly, because this is not working, and I offer it. Okay, beautiful curtains. Say goodbye to the curtains, because I, I get the I gave my Kente fabric to uh, Susie, and Susie is on her way making the curtains. But what I forgot was these curtains. This is four panels. It's 12 yards, right? I th yeah, I'm almost sure it's 12 yards. For what I forgot was these two, because I bought 12 yards for the, and they kente, I bought some kente cloth fabric, and they're 12 yards. And oh my God! So now I'm, I'm going back out tomorrow. Cause I'm going to immigration to renew my visa, which yay, three more months. Okay, but I'll let you know when I get it. Renew my visa tomorrow, so Koto's coming, but we're going to have to go back to Makola because I need to get two more or six more yards, I think, for the kente cloth because the room is about, so just picture it now. This is kente, so now cause it's, you got to picture it. It's going to be hard, but it's not. it'll bring out the orange in the dress. It'll bring out all of that because that orange. And, and then this here is that, see, yo, like yo, this is dope. Got the orange. And then the, it got the blue and orange with it, but we got the orange, you know what I'm saying? So the, it's gonna go nice. I think if you get, if you grab the colors, so how, how, you, how am I mixing this fabric with the Andinkra symbols in it, and then the Kente cloth that you kind of saw on the other pattern, when the patterns are kind of different. But I'm, I'm looking at color now. See, now I'm going for the color. So the orange is alone. And I just feel like, because they're both from the Ashanti, that Andinkra symbols make sense with Kente Club from the same people. So I'm even going by culture, you know what I'm saying, ethnicity, or as I asked Kwame, do you, I said, you don't say, you don't say, you don't say tribe, my tribe is my ethnic group. No, tribe, he said, he had not hear that word before, an ethnic group, you know, he didn't know that word at all. He said, we say, and it's, it's in tree, and hopefully I'll get that saying down. I know I will, but in English, it means I hail from. So that's how they introduce themselves. Somebody wouldn't ask them, that they, they would say, I hail from. I hail from, and of course in tree, but I hail from, I hail from God, the people of God, I hail from the Ashantis, I hail from, you know, the Iwe, I hail from, so I love that. So since so it's, it's, it's the hailing from the same person, you know, the same, the same people. So, so I think that's going to look beautiful with that kente, because y'all, I'm going to get this furniture. Oh, don't worry about the, oh, let me tell you about the furniture too. It's not one set that's out there. It's just the sample set. They make it all the time. So that's the good part. I'm going to get this set. Y'all didn't see the set. Like I was thinking like, okay, should I sell them the set before I get the set? No, we're not going to do that. And y'all know why. It's going to be more fun when you just see the set with the kente. You already know it's going to be kente. And that's for this room. The couch there is going to be two chairs. Oh, I'm redesigning the coffee table. Like I told you, no, no mirror. That's not, I need mirrors on the wall, but not mirrors on my, I, I don't do well, I break it, I'm not good, it's not, I'm like a kid, it's not, I need a, so I'm going to do a whole solid wood, I want to see if that's extra, because I'm sure glasses might be less expensive, more, ex less expensive than wood, so, but I would like it to be a full, and I would also like it, like, remember y'all, the one I had that had the bottom, yeah, yeah, that coffee table, that, that Jackie, Jackie here got me, had the bottom and the top, I was looking for you, I'm so glad. It's a mess in here, y'all. It's real life. Well, anyway, I want that. I want that kind if they can do it. You know, I know they can. So I'm going to draw it. Let me tell y'all. I have never in my life seriously had a sketch pad. Like, seriously. I got me a sketch pad. And, oh, look at this guy. I said, God dang it. I said, uh, I said uh, to the brother, I said, you got Spider-Man. I said, you don't got nothing with no black people on it. He started laughing. He said, Spider-Man is black. I said, who told you that? Like, I don't know. Maybe he is. So, anyway, y'all, I bought a sketch pad. Is this crazy? I bought a sketch pad. Kwame reminded me, Kwame is the bomb, y'all. Kwame and Kojo is the bomb. But Kwame's the bomb. Mr. Bum. So anyway, uh, yeah, I got these like quality drawing and writing pencils. So we're going to be drawing. We're going to be sketching because I got to sketch out this coffee table. I got to sketch out this, uh, this office table. And I have to sketch out some designs that I want to see in my head they working. Let's see if they work on this book. And tomorrow, see the size of this? I'm gonna go, there's a lot of, y'all know me, I'm gonna do it. There's a lot of the uh, uh, people, artists at the art center that sell 
uh, paintings and stuff just like this size. So I'm going to take it by print. I'm going to put the print on top. And it's going to be something significant. And then we have to see Spider-Man. Although, let me just say this, because Spider-Man did come to me. But ladies, what are... <laughs> Ladies, tell me, what are some attributes of Spider-Man? Uh, he was black. Oh, Judy. Oh, that's funny. That's a, he was younger than me. Judy, I'm just looking at that. And then also, what? Uh, he was, that's what he told me. <laughs> but you know what, y'all? Tell me what. Y'all, you know, so metaphysics. What are some of the, I don't know about Spider-Man. What are some of the attributes of Spider-Man, y'all? Just because Spider-Man obviously came into my life. Y'all need to tell me what are some of his attributes what what did I like I said help me with the story and then Kwame reminded me that I needed some notebooks because this is the notebook that we are let me see this is my tree this is my tree notebook what this is my tree Ochina see K-Y is ch Ochina Ochina means tomorrow like you can say tomorrow I'll see you tomorrow you just say tomorrow Oh, I'm learning stuff. Look, y'all. Look. This is Kwame's. This is breaking down the alphabet and things. Yes. Tell him I'm studying. I'm going to study with y'all right now. That's palm, front, not good. I, uh, yeah, I always get that one, but that's that symbol. It's inye, 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 aye, aye. That's it. I think I finally said it right. Once you get the pronunciations down, y'all, it's cool. And this, I've seen this too. And that means love, but I forget how you say it. I forget how you how you pronounce that. I gotta get that. Yeah. And ooh, oh, on, on yami, on yami, on yami. God, on yami. So yeah, y'all. So I got you know, we was gonna do the rest today, but we'll do the rest tomorrow. But I gotta get this down. So this is my notebook for tree. <laughs> Taking my life seriously, y'all. And then this here is another notebook for figuring stuff, like for the boutique and what I, you know, jotting stuff down, just all boutique, boutique stuff. Ideas, ideas, all of that. But let me show y'all. First, I was like, do they know there was some black people? They did. They are black on the notebook, y'all. Now they might, I think they might be black by China. I feel some, some, I don't know, you know, I feel black by China, but they're still black. But check it out. Then it says, breastfeed your baby whenever she demands day and night, which is what I did. Do not, let's read this. Do not give your baby any fluid, water, milk, herbal preparation, glucose water, or any food other than breast milk. Let me see, hold on. Other than breast milk other than breast milk for until six months. That's exactly what I did with my daughter. That's what I'm saying. We was already in my community like living this African life. Continue breastfeeding for up to two years or long. I made a year and a half. Wow. Begin to get complimentary foods at six months. It says thick porridge, well-mashed food without pepper, of course, right? So I love this, how often, two or three times a day, get four times if not breastfed. And I love the breastfeeding on demand because that's what I was taught. Uh, two to three tablespoons at each meal, which is very nice. So not even a lot, not even a lot. Two to three tablespoons. That's how we're supposed to be starting our babies. We got them eating full meals, to, uh, something each time. Towel each time is wet. If you were given a cut in that ear. Okay, so the birth canal, how to eat well uh, during breastfeeding. So it's, it's, I guess because I'm sure a lot, I bet, I hope people here is not, not breastfeeding. Continue to take iron, da, 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 da. I mean, all about giving birth, y'all. And then the things, if, if there's excessive bleeding, severe, like, like things you should recognize, Mood swings, breast, right for the. Okay, this one clearly means this is about gestation period. This is about giving birth. I didn't even know till I got home that I took home a book that, like I said, I'm an artist. Maybe might not be African. I don't know, but this is clearly of African life, and it could be. But you know, a lot of stuff here is from China. Unfortunately, a lot of the fabric is from. They do make it in China because the Africans source it out there because they can make it faster. But you can still find some legitimate places. And even in my, in my uh, one of the things I really, really want is always having everything as much as possible if it even exists made in Ghana. So, and then, yeah, the breastfeeding pictures. And that's pretty deep. Okay, y'all. So let's see. Um, 
there I go. There I go, and my mirror is even dirty because it's the life I'm living. I need to definitely get my mirror together. But I need to get my life together, but I can't right now because those curtains and those curtains together is hurting my eyes, okay? I can't do it right now, but it's coming. Okay, so let's go back here. Calabashes, I hope I can get three. Watch how fly it's going to look because now you got your stuff in there. It serves the purpose of baskets, the how we used to do it in the States, right? Serves the purpose because nobody could see what's in it. But mine is more, mine is more conducive to its environment. Calabashes on the, the, what do you call it? The Inthinkra symbol or the Inthinkra armoire. You know what I'm saying? The it's too fly. It's too fly. I'm too, I'm so excited about the curtains of the kente cloth and then I'm going to have to post the kente. <laughs> it's going to be a kente. And what I love about the kente cloth, why I'm choosing the kente cloth for the posting, the postering, is because the kente cloth, oh, let's just put it there, it's not me. The kente cloth, I'm ready to go to bed. The kente cloth is a classic. Um, for those that just joined, I don't have the kente cloth right now. I bought the fabric today and it's at, uh, uh, it's at the, my woman, my seamstress, who does the uh, curtains and the sheets. And she is creating them now. This is my gourd. Well, it's not cleaned up or anything, but it will be. I took the broom, I took the broom apart. I, I bought one large bunch broom and a smaller brush, and I did this now. I would actually do lots of more, maybe a little more. Beautiful, if I could find some like peacock-ish feathers and stuff that's even longer. Also, I saw some dope, just bamboo sticks that they kind of broke them apart, and some of them are still the long. I'm gonna do one with bamboo. <laughs> Yo, hell, hell, because bamboo is plentiful in Ghana. So I'm going to do some bamboo ones, some bamboo sticks in one similar to that as well. What if I can find out? One thing about the gourds, you might well see me. One thing about the gourds are they are all they are all different. And just like the bamboo. Just like the bamboo sticks. Uh, so it's just it's so to me I feel like this is a parrot. This is a designer's paradise. This is a creative person's paradise. This is your designer. See when I go out like, you know, my brothers, Kojo and Kwame, are driving me and taking me places, but I'm looking out the window. And especially when I get to sit in the back seat and they driving up front, that means I can just focus. They just talk to each other, which is perfect. So everything, I'm looking at the brooms, not like a broom. I'll tell you, they got these, these fans, and it actually is to fan the outdoor stove. The outdoor stove that you make your consumer, you make everything, it's the outdoor stove. And you got these little fan things. I'm not using a fan thing, I'm using a, a, a placemat. I already know that. But I can't tell Kojo or Kwame that, because they think it's like, they don't get it. Like, what do you want that for? I just say, oh, I don't know yet. Like, I don't tell them that I'm gonna use it for or whatever. I just go get the broom. The bro oh, you want the broom? I'm like, yeah, I just want the broom. <laughs> You can't tell them because they be like beating the first they'll say, you can't do that or people don't do that or that's not what they're used for. I'll be like, oh yeah, I know that. So now I don't even tell them that I'm going to like take a broom apart and put them in the calabash. No, 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 I don't do that, I don't do that, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a creative. So what about y'all? Are y'all creatives? Let's see. So yeah, let's see. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I'm going to get some rest. Right after I finish with y'all, they are lovely. Peace, sister. Hey, hey, queen. I love those. Yes. Ooh, I want the one with the grass in it. Want to use it as a plant. So isn't it beautiful? I thought of it as a plant. You guys clearly put soil in there, and there you go. I like the raw look of it. You like the raw look. The raw look is beautiful, too. That's right. Hey, Virginia. Queen says, me too, Virginia. Yes. I so love beauty. I'm creating a tranquil retreat in my home. Yes, Virginia. Multifaceted says, hey, Lisa, I like the pot and foliage. Me, I see. Yeah, the foliage is the, is the broom. It's the broom, girl. It's the broom deconstructed. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Hi, and me, I see. The sublime. Nice. Thank you. Me too, Virginia. Yeah, you love you. I like it raw, huh? That's nice. It's beautiful. I like it raw, too. When you see it done, though, y'all, y'all going to be like, you know what, though? <laughs> so, yeah, I would do both, but you'll see it done up, too. It's, it's beautiful. Can you open the curtain so we can see the sunset? Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? You can't. I don't know if you can really see it, but I could look. Naturally Clever says, so you were able to tell a guy you needed 28 instead of 29, so it will fit through the door, or is the measurement standard? No, the one that we thought we were going to get, we're not gonna get the one I want is not the one I showed y'all. 
So the one I showed y'all, didn't show you, I think that one fits. I'm pretty sure it does. So yeah, so I'm getting it. Don't worry, it's coming. Uh, the sublime says, laugh all out, Spider-Man, Africa. He is, he is a black man. I love it. That's what they told me. But I love it. Judy says, but the last Spider-Man, he was black. I love it. Please remember to thumbs up. Thank you, Omi Funke. Elsie says, hello from Texas. Are you from America? I am Elsie. The sublime says, he can climb tall buildings. That's right. I've seen black men do this in real life. You're right. He limbs and has superhuman jump height like black basketball players. I love it. That's funny. I'm nursing. I definitely didn't take my iron yet today. Look at that Umi, Umi in the city. I'm going to take this as a message and go take my vitamins. That's right. I'm digging the gourd. So, so cute. Aren't they cute? I, uh, I try to be creative. I have placemats on my wall. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly right. That's what, I, that's what I used to do. So you got it. You got it. Hi, Ann says, yes, I'm the same way. Don't tell me I can't do it because I'm going to do it anyway. Exactly. Oh, okay. And you know what, which is so deep, though? They, uh, they, um, it's the tradition, because even the food, like I'm telling you, I know my Ghana is, I mean, we're not getting mad. My, my black Americans, I'm, I'm schooling them. They don't know. Like, I didn't know either. Yeah, you don't take the, you don't take the contumery out the stew. You don't do it. <laughs> you mean what? I'm just going to steam it. You can't do that. I'll be like, okay. So, yeah, so, yeah. So now, yeah, I don't tell them, because I think, you know, I mean, I, they, I think they're looking at it a different way. But what I do love is that when they do, when I actually do it, then they love it. It's beautiful. Like, isn't that life? Isn't that freaking life right now? I just thought about it. When I do do it, they actually love it. They be like, oh, okay. All right. So you're right. Do it and open other people's minds and hearts. I'm sorry. And I understand tradition. You know, like I do. I really understand tradition, but... Uh, that's the beauty, <laughs> y'all. Sorry, and I'm sorry to all the Ghanaians that feel like, yeah, but y'all can do that. We can't. I think that's the beauty. My bosses. I think that's the beauty of being uh, a foreigner in another country. Do you want my opinion? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Because you, yeah, you gotta respect as far as like, you know, you talk about people's religion. You're respecting, but they're respecting yours as well. You're respecting people, but you don't have to follow all the customs because you ain't in a cut culture and there's certain things you don't have to do you pass the age of doing it or it's just not necessary oh wait, hold on one sec y'all i'm sorry but i just wanted to say that to y'all like it's kind of cool it's kind of cool you or you don't have the like they they what they expect from a Ghanaian. i don't know if they're necessarily going to expect from you and I think you get a lot of leeway because you're foreign. So I think that it's good. You know, they, they know you don't do things their way, so there's, there's no expectation there. So, and then you're teaching them as well. You know, never forget that. Like, like you're teaching them too, I mean, about you, period. So I just don't try when they, you know, I remember I told the Oak, I said, well, you can just put it in with the, no, you can't do that. It was, no, you can't do that. It was always just no, and the consumer, I didn't even try. I was like, oh, those greens. I was like, well, I could put them in a blender. She's like, Lisa. <laughs> I thought about putting the consumer in the blender, and she said, Lisa, like, hush your mouth, girl. What are you talking about? So... Yeah, I tend not to. I just be like, oh, yeah, the brooms. Oh, you oh, you want some of the brooms? I was like, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, girl, I need some try. I was like, wait a second. You don't sweep because I sweep. So what she need to bring? I ain't say nothing. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm going to use them. <laughs> she said, oh, you're going to use the broom? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm going to use that broom. I'm going to use that broom in the way I use it. The calabashes. Coach says, so what would you like to do with the calabashes? And I was like, uh, I really don't know. Because I don't really know, but I kind of sort of hoped it. You know, I saw I had a vision. And it's funny, too, about the vision with, with the, with the, with the uh, broomsticks inside of, that, of a calabash. Because, y'all, there are no two calabashes alike. There's none. You can't do it. It's almost impossible. So the fact that you see one that's wide open, the one with the little hole, that they had the one with the hole in it, and the way that it was... I mean, this is how I'm telling y'all, everything I've been thinking about has just been manifest. I would say good and in, indifferent. I'm just going to say indifferent. You know, wow. Like, I just thought about that. That was really dope. That, and that's what I like about this. Remember I was telling y'all, there was like plants, plants, plants. I was like, look, y'all, we got to take ourselves out certain boxes. 
because we're stuck in Afrocentric or a lot of us in Afro boho or bohemian, we kind of still, even though, yes, I know I want plants because I love plants. Okay, but everybody can't take care of them. So should those people, or do those people miss out on a beautiful home or a natural feeling home? Or even a home that some people say like the plants clear? You know, I mean, these other materials are just as alive. And quite frankly, some of the plants come from these materials, or at least hang close by or hang on. So to show all of these ways that plants are being used, we say, well, we're on a plant-based diet. I mean, you're not eating your house plants, but you're eating other plants. So in a sense, plants have, the word plant has to, has to encompass and, and be defined by other natural elements. This is great for the one that either would like plants but can't take care of them for many reasons, busy, travel, or just don't damn feel like it. Just actually have your own children, they grow, and you don't want to do that. It's a responsibility with plants. Take it from a plant owner. I had lots of them. It's a responsibility, and it's a and then when you don't, I don't want I don't want to worry about I don't want to think about nobody right now, but Lisa Marie Goodson. Okay, that's just real talk, like nobody. <laughs> so, I plus I am serious. One thing I learned about having plants, especially if you have a lot of them, they take a lot of sun. I remember having so many. We had so many plants when I was married, and even before that, that there was any little sun that came in, the plants got them. It wasn't me. I am a Leo. I need I need a lot of sun. I am ruled by the sun. So when I, I figure it's me, I, mean, I told you survival right now, the fit is Lisa Marie. So if it's between me and the plants, see the plants gonna take a, a they gonna take the L, okay? And I don't really want the plants to take the L because I've done that already. I just want, so I just, that's why I don't wanna come in. I don't wanna have the day you gotta water them. I'm not like, no, I just wanna see them when I go see them and, and like, and I'm good. Africa's different, I don't know, I feel like I'm in Africa. So the thrill of even having it, it just don't, I don't know, I'm not even, I, thank God I got a life and like, I'm not even in a house. <laughs> Straight up, like I'm not even in the house. Like that's the I asked what it's not even in the house. Like I remember, I was like I remember clearly. I did not want to be in the house every day. All day. okay, I'm out every day. Spirit's like I got you out. Uh -uh, I'm not gonna do it. We're not falling for it. No. Another thing, plants take up space. Now, everything, I don't want everything to be hanging plants. Because, again, now you're taking up my window space. You're taking up my window sun. Thank you for that thumbs up. 42 people, 17 thumbs up. If you are right now digging this part of the conversation, let me know. Because, if, and if not, everybody must be plant. I mean, thank you. I saw two people thumbs it up because, like, I mean, I don't think it's fair. Thank you. We all can't have, it's like making somebody have a baby that don't want to have one you would not want somebody that don't want the baby to have one that's a clear sign <laughs> that's a clear sign of abuse about to happen and you you helped it by making her have this dang baby i don't want no babies i don't want no, I don't even want no man baby i definitely don't want no plant baby okay i'm just done with it like so thank you like and i can tell you know plenty for my future like i can tell where this is going like i can see it now and i'm like oh i'm gonna be in the house even less i already can see it because the board isn't even open yet it's gonna start getting busy when that starts happening i'm, I'm y'all need to take my 47 dollar never had a 47 dollar 30 day intensive started on sunday you can get the re i mean when you get into the group my my sister's gonna when you buy it my sister will put you into the group it's a mastermind group it's called feminine divine uh divine feminine black power as an act of resistance, we go through all these steps of feeling good and the whole bit. And this is part of that. This is part of that saying, F that. I said as an act of resistance. Black, because it's coming to Africa, like I said, seeing how the market women work it, and they the sellers, and they take care of their families, and they what? They strong, they got the money. Nah, I mean, our sexuality, our sensuality is is boss. Like, it looked different. And we, and we were didn't even know even our men didn't know because they kept telling us to be like sally and be like karen and be like becky and be like uh maria you know what i'm saying everybody but ourselves and we didn't know because i come here and i realized no we we are who we are because they are who they are and they are here is our, our, our this is our birthplace whether we want to believe it or not and when you come, you see, and then you have a new definition of what a beautiful, sexy, a desirable, sensual woman is. Smart and everything else. 
So no, see, I I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be me, and I'm gonna make my own decisions, and that's not a good one for me. So, but I still wanted the natural. I feel y'all. You gotta have natural in the house. You gotta have. Thank you for the thumbs up. I see a big difference. I appreciate it. You gotta have natural in the house. I'm for that. Woo, that's rude. Yeah, we gotta have natural in the house. I feel it too. The gourds are gonna help it. Gourds or calabash. They say they say both. The calabash you'll hear it a lot. The calabashes are gonna do it. The the dang. I mean, like I mean, 